The other day I had someone leave a comment on my YouTube channel that started off by telling me that I shouldn't take shortcuts to improve my health. And I just thought, why not? Why shouldn't I? Quality of life is important, and if something like medication or diet or anything else could it help you achieve a better quality of life, why would you work harder and not smarter? I'm Mila Clark, The Hangry Woman. I help people like myself living with diabetes find our strength and feel less shame and loneliness so we can face diabetes head on without fear or judgment. I live with type 1.5 diabetes or LADA and I'm here to be a support system for you. So please like and subscribe, it helps my channel and it helps me to continue to make these videos. And if this video is helpful, you can always support my channel with a one-time super thanks to show how helpful this content was for you. With that, let's get to it. People look at me and often think because she's fat, because she has diabetes, she's unhealthy. And I think that's a general issue with fat phobia in our society, but people fail to realize that health is holistic. Just having one part of you be healthy doesn't mean that you're healthy overall. Health is a lot of things. It's physical, but it's also mental, it's spiritual, it's happiness, it's access. And sometimes people without a chronic illness take for granted how simple their daily routines can actually be. Living with a chronic illness can be difficult. You have to constantly monitor your blood sugar levels, especially with diabetes, make changes to your diet, sometimes take medications multiple times a day. And it's no wonder that many people with chronic illnesses like diabetes feel like they're living in a constant state of stress. But it's important to remember that quality of life matters too. What is quality of life exactly? It's a broad concept that includes physical health, mental, and emotional well-being, social relationships, and environmental factors. In other words, it's not just about your physical health, it's about your overall well-being. When it comes to chronic illness care, quality of life is an important consideration because it takes into account how the illness is impacting all areas of your life, not just your physical health and not just your appearance. There are so many reasons that quality of life is important in chronic illness care. First, when you're focused on managing your illness, it can be easy to forget about the other aspects of your life that matter to you. And this can lead to feelings of isolation, depression, anxiety, and stress. And additionally, research has shown that people who have a good quality of life are more likely to stick to their treatment plans and have better health outcomes overall. And finally, focusing on quality of life can help you find meaning and purpose in spite of your illness. There are so many things you can do to improve your quality of life. If you're living with a chronic illness like I am, here are a few ideas that have helped me and hopefully they help you too. So connect with others who understand what you're going through. This could be through an online support group or an in-person meeting group. Then you wanna make time for activities that make you happy and bring you joy, even if they have nothing to do with your chronic illness, and especially if they don't. It gives you something else to focus on. Then advocate for yourself by communicating openly with your healthcare team about your goals and needs. They're gonna help you and support you in that area. Take care of yourself physically, mentally, and emotionally by getting regular exercise, eating a healthy diet, getting enough sleep, taking breaks when needed, and just overall reminding yourself to care for you. Find creative ways to manage stress, such as meditation, journaling, or deep breathing exercises. I do all three and I love them. Seek professional help if you're struggling to cope with your diagnosis or treatment plan. And seeking professional help I think is a huge, huge part of being just well-rounded in your health journey and your wellness. That mental part of it is so much bigger than we give credit for. Chronic illnesses can be difficult to manage, but it's important to remember that quality of life matters too. So if you have to take a shortcut to get there, that's okay, that doesn't make you a bad person. Make it easy on yourself. By focusing on your overall well-being, physical health, mental and emotional well-being, social relationships, and environmental factors, you can improve your chances of sticking to your treatment plan and maintaining good health outcomes. You can do many things to improve your quality of life. So start by connecting with others who understand what you're going through, make time for activities that make you happy, and if you struggle to cope, seek professional help from a counselor or therapist. I know that that costs money, but it is, well worth the money that you might spend and there are lots of free resources that can help. 
Thanks for watching and let me know how you feel about the topic in the comments. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you later. Bye.